Greetings everybody. Welcome to the video question blog and I have an update. I just got back from the immediate territory and yes I did have a sighting. Got some hair, a footprint, uh, photographed a um, lean-to type teepee shelter and lots of good interesting stuff like that. I've got a, a lot of video to go through so I'll hope to have some of it posted tomorrow. So keep staying tuned. Got skin. Mitch, so sorry to bug you so much. As of late, Bigfoot has my attention. Anywho, was thinking today and wondering if you have ever tried videotaping the mirrors instead of the ground. Might be a good thing to do. I have tried uh, taping in or actually videoing into mirrors. It uh, hasn't worked out so good because the distortion um, of some of the mirrors that I tried to use was slightly fish-eyed and, and uh, so it didn't work out so good. I'm going to retry it again on my prolonged stay coming up in March. And yes, the time period for that has been set, but I can't announce that publicly because I don't want anybody trying to beat me up there and planting false evidence, especially if they figured out where I go. And also, it does. I don't want to give a heads up to anybody that might want to try to attempt to intercept me as I'm going into the mountains and follow me on in. Yes, there's been people that have done that. And, uh, you know, I don't like it. And I have led them on the wild goose chase before. And it took them probably 30 or 40 miles for them to realize that I was on to them. Um, anyway, so that is set. Uh, for those that want to apply to go, I am taking resumes. And in this resume, I want to know basically what skills and equipment that you can bring to the, the thing and... Uh, to the outing, how long you plan to stay, uh, if you have a project or two that you want to run, um, things about you, and tell me things that will help build my trust in you. Uh, because I've had so many people want to go, uh, and they just tell me, oh, I just always wanted to see a Bigfoot. Well, I'm kind of afraid that's not good enough. Uh, this is research, not a looky-loo type thing and um, then some of these people that I have taken in have turned around and more or less betrayed me by starting to bring their own friends and their own tours and stuff like that into spots so <clears throat> I'm very very careful and it needs to be very very well documented as to what your experience is what groups you've worked with and uh, convince me that you're a no kill no harm person I'm not going to take very many people in. And that's simply because if you pump too many people into the region, the region dies in activity. Uh, they basically go off and hole up somewhere else. If you're accepted, you must wear a red t-shirt. It doesn't necessarily have to be one of mine. But you will wear a red t-shirt the whole time you're there. You will sign liability waivers, media agreements, um, non-disclosure agreements, and so forth. Because, yes, I have had a researcher die on me. And that was no fun. So, you know, we take precautions to protect ourselves. We take precautions to protect our Bigfoot. And so forth. So, all that needs to be addressed in your resume. The resume is uh, posted or can be sent to uh, the liability waivers have to be physically signed a bit prior to you actually being considered a member and any information is given out uh, such as times, locations, and so forth. So you need to start working on that if you're planning on trying to go with me. Uh, just showing up is not going to work. So, J.G. Hartz, Mitch, with all, due, with all respect, I think if you would have uh, pulled the baby Bigfoot out of the nest, 
that there would have been a mother Bigfoot and who knows who else from the clan that would have joined her in to come to the rescue. Oh, I totally agree there. Uh, the people I was with, that was one of my concerns because uh, I don't want to get any of them hurt or anything like that. And it's best not to take any chances. And I, I still get hate mail from people that said, Oh, you should have tried to capture it. You should have tried to kill it. You should have tried to poke it with a stick. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's not a good thing. And that's not a way to go about research. And like I said before, I'm well, well beyond the trying to prove to the world that Bigfoot exists. They just simply do. I know it. I've seen them. I cannot deny what I have seen. So they're there. And I don't need to convince the rest of the world of that. So what I'm trying to do now is trying to gather information and so forth about them, them, their social structures, their lifestyles, their uh, longevities, their diets, and stuff like things that are needed when the species is actually declared to exist. I mean, that's going to happen. Eventually, it will happen. Which brings up another little side comment. It's not a question, but uh, a lot of times I've been asked about, well, where did the Bigfoot come from? And, you know, there's several sources uh, that, are, that are out there that could possibly give you some hints. Um, you know, and, and last time I mentioned the Bible, I got jumped um, when Cain killed Abel. And then his grandson, uh, Lamech, uh, killed other people and swore in secrecy. And they both basically got cursed. Well, they had human wives, and they had children. Uh, so, yeah, that could be a possibility there. And there's the Nephilim, the uh, men of renown that uh, took da the s daughters of men to wife. Uh, possibility. Uh, timing's a little off, because uh, according to one DNA study, the Bigfoot... Ray started about 15,000 years ago. And another one that's just popping up, and I would really like to see some DNA analysis on this, and that is the um, giants of the northeast of America. They have been finding more and more of these giants. Uh, the Smithsonian Institute has been trying to cover them up for the last 40 or 50 years. Uh, they've even admitted to destroying some of the skeletons that were provided to them. However, there's a group out there that's trying to work on the early American history um, that uh, say some of the red-headed giants, uh, they're t testing their DNA. Well, I would like their DNA results, not the, the verbiage, just the results, and I would like to get that compared to Dr. Ketchum's um, DNA results. Now, I realize that there's a lot of people out there that think that Dr. Ketchum's uh, either um, a prime scientist for doing what she did, a brave scientist for doing what she did, and then there are some that believe that she's just totally a hoaxer. But one good way to find out is to to cross-reference these red-headed giants' DNA to her DNA findings. It would be very interesting because if there's a match, then it kind of indicates her work. And if there's not a match, then the, the red-headed giants came from somewhere else, and so did the Bigfoot. But nobody's ever thought to do that or, or share DNA results. Well, I would like to see that.